freaky out in public, but she freaky in that bed. He never had no pussy like this fucking up his head. Turn me over, I step back, got me face down in the bed. Hands locked behind my back, like I'm fucking with a fed. What's poppin', y'all? It's your girl, not a brat, but you know that I'm back in the another video. If you're a returning subscriber, what's poppin'? And if you're a new, become a rat in it. I know y'all see it. <laughs> I know y'all see it. Good morning. It is like 12 o'clock. Y'all already know what this is about. <laughs> I have a nail appointment. Because at first, I wasn't even going to make a nail appointment. I was going to be like, nah, you know what? You don't, you don't need your nails done. But baby, two nails turned into three. And we're not going to turn into half the whole damn hand. So no. We're going to get our nails done and our eyebrows done today. I'm going to get cute. I deserve it. I've been busting my ass all week since I came home. I can't wait to spill the tea for y'all. Um, but y'all are definitely going to see like more about what I'm talking about prior to this video. But anyway, um, good morning, good afternoon, grand rising. I can't wait to get done up and get cute today. So like I said, my nail appointment is at one. It's like 12 something now. I live right down the street from the nail shop, which is fine. I'm always late anyway. Duh. <laughs> That's just me. I literally take hours to get ready. Like, it doesn't make no type sense. Like, I literally take, like, 20 to 30 minute showers. Then I be dragging, me getting ready, getting dressed, lotion up, all that. So, we're not going to do that today. Or I'm going to try not to. I'm, I'm lying. I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. Anyway, so, these are what my nails currently look like. I'm cheating on my nail tech, unfortunately. Oh, I wish I wasn't. But I didn't book um, an appointment for this month. Well, I did, but um, a lot happened. A lot is going on. So I had to end up canceling it. So now I got to go to the nail shop down the street. But it's okay because next month she's going to get me right. She's going to get me right. And it's going to be cute. And that's on period. So let me shut up and let's get into the video. And just like that, the girl is ready. Okay, period. This is my headband from the Bougie Supply. She might as well sponsor me at this point. Because, like, I love this headband. Like, I literally will wear this headband just like this. And I think it's so freaking cute. It's actually a silk edge wrap. But I low-key wear it as a headband. I think it's so cute. So, make sure y'all go shop. I'll plaster her stuff across the screen. But, yeah. I am selling my wig. I'm selling this wig. This is my Icy Hair 26-inch Malaysian frontal wig. Okay, period. It is a straight wig. It's a frontal wig as well, and it's 13 by 4 So, and I'm selling it for $150. So, if you would like to purchase this wig for me, you know, hit me up on Instagram, and we could talk about it. Or, yeah, hit me up on Instagram. It's a scheme for me, baby. Y'all, once my hyperpigmentation is gone, baby, that's that. We love white teeth. All right, so... Harmony's coming with me, of course. I'm gonna grab my keys, um, my mask, and we're gonna walk. So I'll see y'all once we get to the appointment. Hi yeah. guys. Today we're we're going outside to get my nails done in in her. Harmony's coming with me to the nail shop and she's actually gonna get her nails done this time. She's gonna get them painted. Yeah. Yes, she has lipstick on because my grandma was playing with her and playing with her Halloween costume and they just wanted to see if it coordinated before anybody comes in my comments. Yeah. And tries to correct me and, and tell me why is she to, wearing she mascara. And also she has the iPad, which I doubt she'll be able to use because, because she's the, gonna be getting her nails done. But whatever, I digress. So um it's like 1245, so... Hi, Grandma. Hey. We're gonna go... Grandma's up there. We're gonna go walk. Ready? Yeah. Say bye. Bye. All right, y'all. I had to fix my thing, because this was sliding, and the wig is not secured, but me and Harmony are here. Hi, guys. I'm playing... I'm, I'm watching YouTube. Of course you are. She's watching YouTube while we sit and wait. It's a little packed in here, but I need to sit down, because it's hot. Um... This is the color I'm getting. And that's the color Harmony's getting. Harmony looks... Pink. I get it. I'm getting pinky nails. Because my nails are old. She had the audacity to pick out two colors. Like, talking about some. Well, let me get pink for my nails. Or let me put glitter on my feet. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. 
That is not what this day is for. We are here for nails only. Y'all know getting your nails and feet done is a process, especially if you get it done at the same time. No way not. So, um, I'll come back when they start my nails. You excited? All right, well, just saying that Move your chair up. Tracy, what are you doing there, girl? With your squishy donut over there? Do you, do you like the honey toy we got you? Huh? You want me to play with you? Look. Okay. Make sure my nose then. And we're excited? Okay, stay still. Go. Uh, hi guys, I'm drawing my nails next. I just got them done and now I'm drawing them. The nose is about to get her broken nails next. All right. All right. But they're about to be long. Very. What are you watching? Elsie and Anya dolls. On YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Keep your hands flat so they can dry, okay? okay. It's a fly back your hand. I know. You want to close out this vlog so we can come back and show them the final result? Yeah. Okay, say bye. Poppin' y'all, it's your girl Nada Brat, but you know that, and I'm back again with another video. If you're a returning subscriber, what's poppin'? And if you're new, become a brat in that stitch. Ow! Ow! This ain't your typical nail vlog, baby. This ain't your, this ain't your typical nail vlog. Let me tell y'all what happened to me after I left the nail salon, or during my visit at the nail salon. As you can see, I'm on my bald head hoe shit when it comes to my nails. They look nasty and disgusting, and they're soft. I hate... I hate soft nails, especially when you take your nails off and they feel real brittle and fresh. Child, it it grinds, it grinds, it grinds my gears. It, it grinds my gears and ears. Um, all I wanted was three nails replaced. As y'all saw, I had three nails missing. Um, never cheat on your nail tech. That was the lesson that I learned yesterday. Never cheat on your nail tech. But, you know, things happen. I had to move some things around. So, you know, I couldn't help that at the time that I did it. But let me tell y'all what happened. This is what happened, right? I go to the nail salon down the street from my house. I've been there before. Um, if y'all remember the blue nails and the cow nails on my channel, I'll post them somewhere here on the screen. That's where I got I got my those those sets done at this nail salon, right? So I get my three nails replaced. And the way my black nail tech does it, she uses... She uses stencils um i'm sorry i was reading a tiktok notification um she uses like stencil stickers to like really get the you know so all my nails are pretty much even so like now if i was to go to any other person to get my nails fixed or replaced you could tell like i went to two different places but the purpose of me going to a different salon was to have the illusion that my nails all look the same if that makes sense if you don't get your nails though you may not know what i'm talking about but if you do girl you know what i'm talking about period so <clears throat> I'm in the midst of getting my nails fixed, you know. I was filming a little nail vlog for y'all, as y'all seen in the earlier clips. And I'm noticing, like, the acrylic on my nails, like, my middle fingers. So I got both of my middle fingers replaced and my index finger on my left hand replaced. Um, I noticed that when she was applying the acrylic, the acrylic, instead of it, like, matching my na other nails or somewhat kind of matching my other nails, my nails literally were like, the nail was like this. Like a legitimate hook. I'm gonna put it on the screen of what it looked like. Chow. What is that? Like, 
even I know that despite the fact that I went to two different people to get my nails done, it's all about the illusion, baby. Shouldn't nobody look at my nails and tell her, oh, she went to somebody else. All I wanted was a gel refill with three additional nails and a, 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 a polish change. Like, what was, I don't know what was so hard about that. So then, like, I'm, she's, you know, filing, shaping, filing, and shaping. And I'm like, can you fix my nails? So one thing about me, especially when it comes to my nails or anything else, but really when it comes to my nails, I spend a pretty penny on my nails. Like I told y'all, or y'all may not know, I'll spend $100 and up on my nails alone. On my nails alone. And that's on getting gel, uh, gel acrylic, baby. Well, not gel acrylic, but that's on getting a gel manicure, okay? Period. Like, I don't play when it comes to my nails. Y'all know I don't play them games when it comes to my nails, baby. Y'all know I don't play them games. So, I'm noticing, like, you know, she's still filing and shaping, and it's not, the shape isn't matching. Mind you, I had coffin-shaped nails already. It's not even coming close to the coffin shape. So, I'm, like, asking her repeatedly, repeatedly, like, you know, can you fix it, can you fix it, can you fix it before we further the service? Because you're talking about painting my nails. She was like, oh, well, um, if I paint over it, you're going to like it. If I paint over it, it's going to be better. No, it's not. Because all you're doing is applying a gel polish on top of an ugly-ass nail that I'm telling you to fix. Like, hello? So... Um, mind you, this went on for about 30 minutes. I kid you not, this went on for 30 minutes to the point where I, my appointment was at one o'clock. I, I got fed up by 2.32 because she was literally paying patty cake, patty cake baker's man with my hands and it was pissing me off, really pissing me off. So I'm like, all right, like I'm at this point, I'm using my fingers as a visual representation at this point to show her what I'm talking about. So I'm literally at her table like this. Like this, like trying to show her weight, this and this, yeah. So I'm literally at her table like this, trying to show her my nails, like how uneven they were, how badly shaped they were, and how nothing that she was doing was working. So then she finally, my, and, she's, and mind you, she cut me like two or three times already, so I was already getting irritated because you cut me, you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Then finally, she's like, okay, well, I'll send you to my boss. I'll send you to my boss. Mind you, like I said, it's almost 3 o'clock at this point. Yesterday, I had plans of going on TikTok Live with my TikTok uh, family. And I was going to go on Instagram Live with them so they can, you know, tell me their stories. Because, you know, TikTok Live prohibits certain things. And I could get banned from it or blocked if they do or say anything inappropriate. And they can't, like, I can't share the live with them. Um... And then I also had a business to attend to. And baby, like it was just it was just giving the girls mess. Giving the girls mess. So like I said, at that point, like I was getting irritated. Mind you, I didn't eat. I had Harmony with me. Harmony had got her nails done for the very first time. Um and I just wanted some Wawa. So I wanted to go across the street to go get some Wawa with Harmony, right? And the lady follows me out the door. She's like, No, 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 come back, come back, come back. Um, you got to pay for your service, pay for your service. I'm not paying for no shitty ass service. I'm not going to pay you for your time after I sat here for 30 minutes telling you that nothing you was doing was working. You knew it wasn't working. That's why you kept doing what you were doing to prolong the time to get money out of me. That's why you got to be very vocal about things like that, especially when with service based businesses. You, you don't need to leave or pay for anything that you're not satisfied for. So if you don't like it, say that. Vocalize that to them so they can correct it. And then if you like it, pay for the service. Y'all be really going out, taking pictures of y'all nails, talking about what I asked for what versus what I got, complaining and crying and whining. When you could have did that same, you could have had that same energy with your nail tech. I'm not leaving no nail shop. First of all, I'm not leaving that nail chair. I'm not swiping no card at no desk. For a nail set that I don't like, especially if the service was trash and you didn't even do what you said you could do. And that's what the, that's the problem with some of these nail techs. Some of these nail techs will tell you, oh, I could do that, I could do that. And whole time they can't. They just want your money. And then your nails look a mess. And then nine times out of ten, you're not going to want to sit there to get it redone. When you could have got it redone in the midst of you getting your service provided to you. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. That's not how we do it, baby. Cause oh no baby no that ain't that ain't gonna work not for Nida Bright it don't not for Nia it don't hell no I pay too much money when it comes to my nails absolutely not no ma'am no ma'am 
No, ma'am. So I walk back inside of the shop and I sat down. I went on TikTok live because I was getting mad irritated and I just wanted to talk just to talk because I was, you could see the irritation on my face. Like I was mad, bro. Woo, I was irritated. I was irritated, y'all. Mind you, it was all going on three o'clock. So when the nail tech that was doing my nails was like, um, her boss could do my nails. Girl, she already had a client in her chair. Wasn't nowhere near done her client, which meant she wanted me to wait for her boss to get done that client, which was going to take probably 45 minutes at the most, to then sit there for another additional hour to get my nails redone, refixed, until I left. No. So you know what I did? Got my hand soaked off. I ain't never, ever go to the nail shop for a soak off. Ever. Like, nine times out of ten when my nails fall off, I'll just, like, pop. Not, yeah, pop. I'll, yeah, I'll pop them off if they're, if they're loose enough. I don't know how y'all be biting y'all nails. Y'all need to teach me because I can't bite acrylics off for nothing. I can't bite acrylics off worth a damn. I can't deal with it, baby. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, so then that means I wouldn't have left the nail shop until, like, 5 o'clock. Mind you, my appointment was at 1. If you think I'm finna sit here in this nail shop for four hours after you already provided me with an hour and a half's worth of shitty service, you have lost your fucking mind. You have lost your damn mind. You've lost it. It's somewhere in outer space floating because you lost it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So I was like, you know what? Um, Can I? So mind you, again, I'm the only person in this nail shop that's speaking. And you, everybody in the shop can hear me. Even the people that are getting service. So I politely asked. I said, excuse me. I would like a soak off. So then uh, the lady that did my nails, she was like, no, 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 no. Let us fix it. No, you're not fixing my nails, love. You're not fixing my nails. I didn't gave you a half hour to an hour or over an hour's worth of you trying to fix it. And you know, I don't have that kind of time. Because the hour that I'm wasting right now could have went to YouTube. It could have went to me creating content for YouTube and uh, TikTok. It could have went to me, you know, providing my services to other people, making that extra money that I've been making on the side. It could have been to answering emails. It's an hour that I don't have now at this point because you, you're wasting my time and you're ruining what I have planned already, pretty much. So then the guy that does my nails or has done my nails in the past, like I said, the sets that I got before on my channel, he's done those exact sets, right? So he's like, oh, what's the problem? What's the problem? I'm telling him what's the problem. He's like, well, if you uh, let me fix it for you, I won't charge you at all. And then he's like, um, but if you want to soak off, it'll take longer. I'm like, it's already taken long. So soak them off. Soak them off. Because I can't do, first of all, what am I, I can't do nothing with the nails that y'all already given me because of the fact that they nowhere near match the set of nails I already had prior to me getting my nails fixed at y'all shop, one. And two, y'all weren't even trying to take the time to fix those nails in the first place. So no, I'm not going to sit here, no. And then he's like, well, um... You need to pay for, you know, her time, her service. Let me tell you something, right? I'm not paying for the time and service because the way that took as long, as quick as it was for me to speak up about how my nails was looking a mess, is as quick as she should have reacted and did what the fuck she was supposed to do as a nail technician, a certified and licensed nail technician at that, to fix the customer's nails because the customer knows best. Not all the time, but nine times out of ten they do, especially for something like that. I know how I like my nails. I've watched the process a thousand and one times. I vlog the process all the time. So I know what I'm talking about. So no, I'm not about to compensate her for her lollygagging and wasting her time and mine. That's just not happening. She did a terrible job. She did not complete the service. She completely neglected and negated what I was telling her to stall, to try to get payment out of me. I'm not doing that. So like I said, I was still on TikTok live talking to my TikTokers or whatever, my TikTok fam. Follow me on TikTok if y'all haven't already because your girl is famous over there. And I, I done went viral. And y'all already know if y'all haven't watched that video, I link it above me in the courts. Period. Um, so, he soaks my nails off, right? And cuts me, like, twice. Mind you, I have my hand, not my hand, I have my phone um, propped up against the plexiglass that they use, you know, because of the virus. Um, and he cut my hand. He cut my finger talking about, um, you got to move your phone out the way. That was your phone's fault. No, you cut me because now you got to take the time to deal with me after I should have been dealt with from the time of my appointment. 
and you're mad because I don't want to pay for that service. I said, I will pay for the soak off. I will pay for my little, my little cousin's nails and I'm out the door. I didn't even want my eyebrows done. I'm supposed to get my eyebrows done. Girl, they're giving much, very much bush, very much a mess, clean them joints up. And I couldn't even get them done. And mind you, that's why I go to get my eyebrows done. So now it's like, I don't even want to go back there because how do I know y'all not gonna fuck my eyebrows up? Cause let y'all walk, have me walking around looking like SpongeBob SquarePants, I'm fucking somebody up. And that's on period. So now I'm gonna have to go to the other nail shop that I used to go to to get my eyebrows done by, uh, behind my house. Cause no ma'am, no ham, no pan, that's not working. No, you can't be trusted at this point. Like I don't even want no services from you. If someone provides a bad service the first time, don't go back to them. Because nine times out of 10, yeah, they can probably fix it. Yeah, they can do better. But it only takes one time for somebody, a business owner at that, to show unprofessionalism, to show disrespect, to show anything that's not business-like, I'm out the door, period. And period. Like, that's, that's that. So, um, yeah, like I said, he cut me or whatever. And I ended up snatching my hand back. My TikTok people, could, my TikTok fam, they could literally see the irritation on my face. They could see the irritation on my face. So I ended up paying and I left. Girl, they charged me $10 for that soak off. Charged me $10 for the soak off. And then they charged me $7 for my little cousin's nails. Mind you, her nails ain't even that big. They just slapped polish on them and she got them dried. And it was $7. $7. So I'm like... Never cheat on your nail tech. I would never cheat on my black nail technician ever again. I have learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Cause now I gotta wait to go to her till next, I have to wait to go to her next month for my photo shoot um, for Brad's way. And in the meantime, I gotta find another person or another nail shop to do my nails and feet prior, well, until I can go to her. And I'm hurt about it. Yes, I'm hurt. I'm very, very much hurt. It's giving very much pain and karma. I would never do it again. Never do it again, ever. So that's the story time. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to get back active on here. I promise. I, I know I keep saying that. But the problem was the video that I uploaded today, my cousin asked me to take it down. And prior to me uploading it, I tried to upload that video 10 times within the past week. It was not uploading. Like, I even got it to 94% one time, and it just stopped uploading, and it pissed me off to the point where I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. So, yeah, um, that's that. We just know y'all got content coming on the way. I didn't forget about y'all. I'm not neglecting y'all. It's just YouTube really makes it so hard to post on here. I don't know what it is, what the problem is, nothing. I don't know. But we're going to get together. We're going to get fixed because that's not an excuse. We've been consistent since August. We're going to keep up with this consistency. And that's on what? That's on who? That's on period. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And I'll catch y'all in my next video.